I'm heading south to spring. I left at about six in the morning. I'm currently traveling south on Highway 39 and we are gonna hit some parks and before going all the way down to the Carbondale area for hopefully the eclipse and morels. Oh yeah. Today on Tattooed Granny. That's a score dropper. Ah, no. <laughs> Showtime. Good old Route 66. Mm, smells nice. There are mushrooms up. These are velvet too. Cheers. Funk's Grove rest area on the way to Lincoln. And we got signs of spring. Yeah. Wearing my new favorite shirt. Oh yeah. Take a little look see up in here. Let's see where things are at. Super moist in here and green. Beautiful. These are new bluebells. Just starting to bloom. Spring signs, people. Know your spring signs. Prairie trillium. It's another one, another indicator. There's some almost ready to flower. Maybe when they start flowering, guess what? Lots of morels. You should be able to find some early morels. Spring beauties. Too cold for them. Hey apples, they're small yet. It's been cold here, but they are an indicator. Cool. Take a look back here. Look at the ramp wonderland. They just go on forever. Gorgeous. We've definitely met the spring here at this rest area. I'm super excited to hunt my spots. Ooh, fingers crossed for us. <sighs> Lovely here. So here's one of my hunting spots by a big creek. And here's a, looks like freshly dead elm. I think we might be a little early, but I'm just going to look around, see where she's at. This kind of habitat is uh, my favorite. There's uh, a lot of moisture in here. A lot of dead elms. Soil's nice and wet. I might go up on a hillside, a slope, where it's warmer if we don't find any here. Because this could still be a little cold. Look at this beautiful habitat. Oh my goodness. And uh, there's several 
dead trees over there. We're going to have to cross over and then make a little march up, up to there. We'll see what we can see more if I find something. This beautiful spot is also home to the largest sycamore tree in the state of Illinois. It's down that way. Look at this peeling elm here. A little more peeling than I like it. But we're going to look. What we're not seeing are other mushrooms. Other saprobic mushrooms. Making me think we're about a week, week earlier. So Beautiful though. Beautiful spot. If you walk by and you make sure you put it in the comments. My eye surgeries have left my eyes in a questionable state. We'll see if I can see this here. I think I still can. Yeah, typically you see some uh, Seraporus squamosus and uh, velvet feet coming up on these dead elm when it's time and I'm not seeing that so, could be a little cold yet what we want is a little microclimate somewhere warm and we can get that early fruiting that's what we want walking a little bitty deer trail oh it sure is pretty in here wow No people. Just me and the birds. Uh, it's gorgeous. I love these kind of areas. Where do we get into my sycamore patch? Uh, this creek here, one year, flooded all the way out. To the road in my car and I'm like hiking about a mile in here. Sure is gorgeous. You can see see that one elm tree. It's got seeds. It's either a elm or it could be a maple. Uh, well, the first one is definitely a maple. The second one more red could be an elm. Look how pretty. Mm. Coming up on a big old sycamore, I call it four musketeers. Yeah. He makes them around when he's ready. Uh, later than the elm, so later than today. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, he's neat. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. All oh, his little leaves down here. Look at this. You can literally climb up in there. And sit. Set a spell. Have some juice. You can enjoy a tasty juice. Look at that. Yeah. And pick morales when the time is right. Look at look at the shadow. It's like a giant claw. Godzilla claw. Monster claw. It's got this beautiful rough bark, and then it goes all white. When I love my trees. Making morels one flight at a time. That's a spore dropper. That's a spore dropper right there. Yeah. Come back here. Ah. No. No. It's gonna attack us. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hey, passed away.
These are Dutchman's breeches. They're tiny. Look at this here. Beautiful. Dutchman's breeches. Sycamore, a beauty, a giant, a monster. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at them all. There's a perfect elm tree. This is what I mean when I say rusty and feeling. Look at this guy. He's dead. He's all dead all the time. Nothing's up yet. No mushroom. A little too early. A little too early. These pretty things. Serenity. What's that show? What's that show that always wants the trees with the burls? Look at this guy. Oh, holy crap. Big old oak. temps are oh so close but still a little too low. <laughs> Lobster corn dogs. What? Lobster corn dogs. Delicious. Yum. Pyramid Recreation.
Recreation Area, Southern Illinois. Ooh, looks like rain today. Uh oh. We'll see. We're at Pyramid State Recreation Area, the largest park in the state of Illinois. This is Lost Lake, and we're going to start Truman. There's mushrooms. It's a polypore of some type. Very hard. I don't know what this is. It's cool. These remind me of uh, prairie crayfish holes. And they're off breeding now. I don't know if that's what it is. But it's just a small little hole, so it probably is. Here's another one. Mm. Smelling sweet. Mmm. Dogwood's pretty. Southern Illinois. Very cool park. <laughs> Pimento cheese and smoked sausage. Spicy sausage. And I smoke these. These barbecue wings slap. Total fire. seconds of totality solar eclipse tomorrow we hope at about 2 p.m. Fingers crossed it's not cloudy like this and we'll get some sun. burn here. So I'm going to walk a little bit around here. And there's some elms. They got their leaves up. If they're alive, like this one. And I'm just going to walk around and see what we can see up in here. 
Look at all the burnt stuff. Hmm. Ground's a little dry, but we'll see. old ash tree here. Let's see what he's got going on. Humongous. Look at that thing. He's a beauty. Where are my old happy boy? Looks like a big old elm here. A couple of them. Deader than doornails. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, whoa. Yeah, there's a, a marker. We'll look around. Green beauty is blooming. All down here. Nice slope to fall down. <laughs> it looks like a dead elm or two. like this big beautiful elm it's easy to see at least for me that it's got the seed pods already so it's dropped its little red flowers and it's a living tree no mushrooms there let's keep looking pro tip do not mark your spots now I saw this tree from a distance way up but it's clearly marked, it's clearly an elm patch, it's clearly dead, and now everybody knows it. So now I'm in an elmy sycamore patch. Okay, it's another prime spot. And I'm not seeing morale. Oh, heavy sigh. There's so many nice trees in here. I'm sure they go crazy in fruit. We've been picked. Uh, even some ash up in here. Oh. Got a bunch of dead ash in here. I'm just checking ash. You never know. This here ashy got them all on the ground. Pants on the ground. Usually you have to still be alive. There's an elm. Uh, I see. Bud's trying. I see Bud's trying. He's a beauty though. He's a beauty. Not edible, super hard. Maybe medicinal, I don't know. It's an artist conch. Oh. On this red wood. Oh, this is what caught my eye. This dead boy here. He's now making stuff for, for me though. Wah, wah. This is the beauty of a place. This is a three trunk giant old sycamore tree. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This big boy. 
Big meaty boy. Big morel making meaty boy. It's a big old salt creek right here. That's a whoop. Lots of spring beauties blooming. It's beautiful here. This is a nice place. This is all wild here. Not one, but two double trunked elm. Dead. Fresh. Where are your mushrooms at? Like seriously, show me a stump. I'm up in here now, I'm way in the back, mile and a half in the back, and uh, they're not infected with anything. They're premium. There's one that looks a little too dead back here. Yeah, they ain't up if they're not here. Boy, they've been swiped. Let me know if you see any in the pictures that I missed. I don't usually miss them. It's a big. On my way home from the eclipse, got to celebrate, had to remove the audio due to copyright music in the background. Cheers, illegal mezcal margarita. House special lobster empanadas, roasted corn cheese guacamole, trio of delicious housemade salsas. Yummy food. Korean beef taco with marinated beach mushrooms. Hi, everybody. We are leaving Murfreesboro. Jet now. Big rain is coming up and we're trying to avoid it. We had a spectacular time seeing the total solar eclipse. It was clear skies with wispy clouds. Perfect. We could see things like um, parts of the solar flares and this this white corona with the naked eye it was spectacular during totality you could take your glasses off epic it's a big drought here i found some great mushroom places but it's too dry so we're going where the moisture is and we're gonna hunt today woohoo fingers crossed Central Illinois, baby. Woo! Let's go. Let's do it. You know it. And here's the Eastern Red Bud. Look at the bees. They love it. They're going crazy for it. Look at them all. I wonder if it smells good. Mmm. This is a different type, like a crab apple or something. Here, look at this. What's this one? Huh? Bees don't like it as much. Mm, smells nice. There's some bees. We got honeybees up in here. Look, it's busy.
that's a big freshwater clam of some type. Any mollusk lovers, let me know. I'm in a little patch of elms. Some pretty dead. Well, our chorus frogs are singing. They're usually early compared to when the mushrooms are out. I see no other mushrooms here, unfortunately. So, I'm just gonna look around quickly by some of these trees. I'm not too hopeful. This little pond over here. Look at those nice, distinctive root systems of the elm. And he's gone. And so is his buddy there. I don't even see little ones coming up yet. I think we're early. I love that chorus. I love those frogs. Let me see here. I think I see some uh, Seriopora squamosa starting. That's a pheasant back. That's usually a... Uh, if I'm right here, there's somebody already picked them. That's usually an early indicator, too. There's definitely all kind of elm detritus. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got some of these, and they're tasty edible to some people. And you can see someone's harvested. So, yeah. We probably harvested them around. Uh, who's going to areas that I'm not familiar with? Exciting though. Well, there are mushrooms up. These are velvet feet. Yeah. It's the wild version of enoki mushroom on another dead elm. One of its favorite host trees. This tree looks perfect. I'm going to look around. If I find anything else, I'll let you know. And here is the um, third wood-loving, wood-digesting sap probe of spring. Like a caps. They'll acquiesce and turn black. But if you cook them, they are supposedly edible. I see more evidence of a uh, Cereoporus glamosus here. Oh, there's one. It's a polypore with white tubes on the bottom. So all three, all three of those spring mushrooms are edible with proper cooking. I don't really like the taste of uh, the, the pheasant back, so I don't pick it. And the other one doesn't transport well and doesn't taste like much. So, yeah, we should have morels. <laughs> but it looks like it's a spot well known. I'm going to have to get way up in the, the boonies here off the trail for hunting and try and find a tree somebody missed up in these state parks they're public heavily hunted Bring it on, let's go okay i'll be back if we find anything good this was a long one today i really appreciate you watching until the end have a great morale season and remember keep walking